Hey guys, it's Joanna here. So today's workout will be focusing on your arms and your upper body to get rid of the bingo wings and to really tone up on your arms as well as your upper body. And here's the good news. We will not be doing any push-ups. Yup, no push-ups at all. So if you have a pair of light dumbbells, do grab them. If not, fill up two large water bottles and use that as your weight. So let's start with a really quick warm-up. Let's just roll your arms forward, okay? We're just warming up and loosening up the joints. No weights, and let's roll your arms back, all right? So big rolls, good. And you may hear a few clicks on your shoulders, but that's absolutely fine, okay? Just keep rolling, and now place your hands by your shoulders, shoulder rolls, all right? Big shoulder rolls backwards, and big shoulder rolls forward. Good, all right? Loosening up and really getting our upper body ready. And now just twist side to side, okay? Twist. Working on your core as well, okay? Good, keep twisting. And now let's just get ready for the first circuit. So each workout will be for 45 seconds long with 15 seconds rest in between, okay? For the first circuit, you will need some light weights. I would say between 2 to 3 kilos each, alright? So the first workout is going to be an L squeeze to shoulder press. So grab your weights, grab it tightly and this is how we're going to do it. So start by lifting your arms just by your head, okay? into an L position. And what I want you to do is bring both arms together, squeeze it. You should be working on your chest as well as your shoulders, opening it up, and now press it up into a shoulder press, all right? So that's the first workout. And I want you to maintain this L position throughout, all right? So drop the weights, let's get ready. Roll your shoulders up into an L, let's go. Squeeze, spread it out, and press it up, good. So keeping that balance as well. Press it up and down. Remember, the weights or your water bottle should be directly above your head, okay? So do not swing it backwards. Straight up, tighten your core and really keep your body upright. Do not arch your lower back. Good, squeeze it, nice and controlled. So this is actually a low impact workout, focusing on your upper body. And I want you to really focus on every movement. Good, press it up, slow it down. Do not drop your arms, keep it up. One more press and back down. All right, do you feel the work on your shoulders as well as your arms? Good job, all right. The second workout is going to be focusing on your back muscles as well as your upper back. So the back part of your shoulders as well. So it's going to be a dumbbell row with a fly, okay? So row, push your elbows back, spread it, fly, and squeeze and push your elbows back. And slightly lean forward, okay? Squeeze it, spread it out, point your elbows backwards at all times. And keep a slight bend on your elbows, good. Squeeze your mid back and feel the work on the back part of your shoulders, as well as your upper back. Keep going, very nice. One more, last one. Spread it, squeeze, and good. Okay, the next workout will be focusing on your triceps as well as your biceps. So, bring the weights close to your body with your elbows pointed back. What I want you to do is start with the tricep kick back and then curl it up to work on your bicep, okay? So kick it back to work on your triceps and curl it up, good. Again, leaning your body forward and do not swing your upper arms. All the movement should be coming from your forearms. Kick it back and curl it up, good. As you kick it back, control it down and curl it up, very nice. So working on your triceps, down and working on your biceps. Keep going, feel the burn on your arms, push it back Curl it up and just hinge forward slightly. Good. Nice and control. Break the movement down, okay? So tricep kick back down, 
bicep curl and back down. All right, very good. And the final move is going to incorporate a little bit of cardio, weighted punches. So you know the usual jab and punch, same thing, but this time we want to do it with weights to add that little bit more challenge. So punch, 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 and punch. So again, this is not a fast movement, okay? And really work on twisting your hips, work on using the strength from your shoulders as well as your hips to punch forward. Aim at one point, okay? Nice, keep going. I can feel the burn on my shoulders and you should too. Punch it forward, left and right. And remember to pivot on your toes. 10 more seconds. Do not stop right now. This is your final workout for this circuit and we want to repeat the entire workout once more. All right, good. Short 15 seconds rest, okay? So the first workout is going to be an L squeeze to a shoulder press. Start in a wide L position, okay? Maintaining this position at all times. Let's go, squeeze it in, push it up, good. Remember to keep your body upright. Do not arch, and up. Good, control, squeeze, and up. Nice. Working on your chest and working on your shoulders as well, okay? Bring your elbows close together and out. Good job. Whew. Give me at least three more, okay? Up, down, squeeze, up. Last one more, squeeze it and up. Okay, now let's focus on our back as well as our upper back, okay? So, hinge forward slightly from your waist. Remember to keep your elbows close to your body, point it back. Let's start with a row, squeeze it, and then spread it apart, okay? Into a reverse fly. Squeeze, very good. Down and up. So it's two movements into one workout. And remember to keep your knees soft, okay? Don't lock your knees. Squeeze and spread it out. Good. Let me know what weights you're using at home right now, okay? Out, point your elbows, squeeze it. Out, last one more. Up and out, okay? Very, very good. Working on our arms, triceps as well as our biceps, all right? Okay, again, hinge forward, keep your elbows bent slightly. Let's start with a tricep kickback. Remember to always keep your elbows pointed back. Kick it back, control it down, curl it up. Back down, back and down. Very good. So remember, the movement should be coming from your forearms and engage your tricep and your biceps, okay? Do not just swing it, okay? Engage it up, control, curl, and back down. Push it back, curl it up. Very good, squeeze at the top, okay? For one count, curl it up. Squeeze it, one count, good. Curl it up, nice, hold, lower it down, and up. Two more, last one more and back up. All right, final workout, okay? Weight up punches and you will get a short rest. All right, all energy up, okay? Hold the weights, let's go. Left leg forward, right leg back, let's go. Left, right, pivot on your toes, twist, work your hips, twist and punch forward. If this is too much for you, you can drop the weights, okay? Keep going, punch it, good. Nice. Remember, do not drop your shoulders. Keep your shoulders at your eye level. Punch it forward. Keep going. You're almost there, okay? Last 15 seconds. And remember to breathe out. Last five more seconds. Last one more. Ah, oh, 
then just drop the weight. All right, very, very well done. That was the end of your first circuit, okay? Take a short one minute break and we want to continue with the second circuit. For the second circuit, we'll be working on our mat. So grab your mat, okay? The first workout is going to be an inchworm to pike press. So, so this is a really great upper body workout for your shoulders and to really define your arms. Let's go. Start, I want you to inch forward just to the middle with your butt pointed up. Give me three pike presses. So head down first and then slowly inch back up. All right, again, down. Remember, don't go too far. I want your butt to be sticking in the air. Three pike presses. Head down, push your elbows out, and slowly inch back up. Good, if you can, keep your legs straight. Let's repeat it to the middle of your mat. Pike presses. One, two, three. You should feel the work on your shoulders, and come back up, okay? Very, very good job. Okay, second workout. Let's lie down onto your belly. You can choose to use a weight if you want to, okay? It's going to be Superman squeeze to plank. So grab one weight, hold it, squeeze it, release it, and push up to a plank. Back down, hold the weight, squeeze, release, push up into a plank. So again, this is a really good Workout for your traps as well as your shoulders. Squeeze, release, push up into a plank. Lower yourself down, hold and squeeze. Remember to slowly lower yourself down and slowly push yourself up. Do not peel yourself off the mat. Push up, lower it down. One last squeeze, squeeze, release and up. Okay, <laughs> very, very good job. Next, it's going to be a dwarfing plank. So this time, we want to start on our forearm, okay? So get down. Some of you might have done this workout before. Start in a plank position, push yourself forward, pike your butt up, and push yourself forward, chin over your hands, pike your butt up, and repeat it, okay? This is a really good tricep workout good push it forward and also to strengthen your core really pike your butt up feel the stretch on your back your lats go forward and push up very good so suck your belly in maintain a solid plank position move forward and hike it up stay on your toes all right good forward nice and controlled and very good. Okay, the final move. So all the movements will be really slow. Side plank extension. Again, choose your option. If you want to grab a weight, you can. What I want you to do is start in a side plank position, grab the weight, extend it out, drop it back down, tap it, extend it up. Okay, so maintaining this side plank position will strengthen your arm, your core, as well as it will work on your balance. So find that balance and bring it up. If this is too much, you can start on your knee. So tap it down, bring it up. Let's work on one side to begin with. And on the second round, we will change to the other side. Nice and controlled. Good. Keeping your hips high. Do not dip your hip, okay? Keep your hips high, squeeze, and up. Very, very good. Okay, drop the weight. Let's get back up into inchworm to pike press. Start at the edge of your mat. Ready? Let's go. Inch forward, right to the middle, 
Spread the elbows. One, two, and three. Head down, okay? Inch back, stand tall. Let's go back down again to the middle. One, two, nice. Three. If this is too much, you can stay closer to the mat. Let's go. Go further. Pack your butt up. One, two, three. Back up. Give me one more, okay? So inch, solid pike press. One, two, three. And slowly come back up. Okay, now let's get down onto the mat. Choose your option, okay? With or without any weights. You just need a very light weight, okay? So grab it, squeeze it, lift your toes off the floor, drop it. Now push yourself up into a plank. Good. Up, squeeze, and back down. Remember, don't peel yourself off, okay? This is wrong. Solid plank back down so really use the strength from your upper body as well as your core press it up back down control squeeze extend down and press up good once more keep going back down Woo! this is a love hate relationship oh I, it really burns my shoulders and my upper back up all right, good job. Okay, dwarfin plank. All right, so your aim is to extend all the way forward and pike all the way up. So let's get down into a plank position. Chin over your arm, pike it all the way up, point your elbows back, over, nice and controlled, and pike it up, stretch, feel the stretch on your back. Pike it up, Woo. feel the work on your triceps. Do not spread your arms too far apart, okay? Keep them close together with the elbows pointed back. Very good. And just pace your breathing. Nice. It's also a lot of work on your core. Extend. Up. Push it up. Extend. And up. All right. Okay. One last workout, side plank extension. So let's work on your right side. All right, the opposite side. Lie down, start in a side plank position. Get up, all right, extend it up, tap it down and extend. One fluid movement, up and down. Remember to engage your core, keep your hips up. Tap it down and up tap and straight up point it up very good if you're shaking that is absolutely fine that is your muscles working together good you are strong last 10 seconds Woo. and this is the end of your circuit balance oh my god i almost lost my balance there and done okay very, very, very well done. That was the end of your second circuit, okay? So I just want you to roll your shoulders, stretch it out a little bit. All right, cross your arms over, stretch your shoulders out on your right side. And now change, swing it, left side. And now just Link your fingers together and just stretch and look up. And breathe to bring your heart rate back down. All right, very, very well done. That is the end of your upper body workout to tone your arms as well as your shoulders. So we're using both weights as well as your own body as resistance to really strengthen your upper body as well as to tone the muscles, okay? Do this workout regularly, do it on every alternate days to give you firmer arms to get rid of the bingo wings and it will also work on your chest as well as your back. If you enjoyed this video, remember to 
give this video a thumbs up, check out my other workout videos, strength training, HIIT workouts, as well as healthy recipes on my YouTube channel. And I will see you in my next workout. Stay safe.